Hello friends, welcome to VTutorial, my name is Mahavir. In this video training, I will explain about the Power Pivots. It is first introduced in the version of Excel 2010 and then it was also available in Excel 2013 as an add-in. You need to download a separate add-in from the Microsoft Office website. You can get the link in the description, you just click over there and according to your version of the Microsoft Windows or the Excel once you download you can make the setup and then you can enable the power pivot option but if you have Excel or the MS Office 2016 version it is actually inbuilt in the MS Office 2016 version so let us start how to enable the power pivot click over file tab go to options then come to the add-ins then click on the manage and find the com add-ins then click on the go button you will get com add-in list then select the power pivot options then click ok button now you can see a new tab power pivot just click over here you will get few options we will learn one by one later on uh, the coming videos but first we will understand what is the use of power pivots so i will take one example it's a very simple introduction or you can say the example we are taking the example of the invoice data we have three sheets in which some data is available in the first sheet we have a customer related data we have a customer id name address country etc and in the second sheet we have a invoice header data it means we have an invoice number customer id and we have an invoice date and in the third sheet we have invoice details we have an invoice number quantity unit cost and the unit price now our requirement is we need to create a list or we can say the summary invoice wise so we need sorry i am changing the place of the invoice date so i need a, a list or the summary invoice wise i need invoice number first then invoice date customer name address country state we can delete some options but so we need all the details related to the customers then the invoice number no it's not required here because it's coming already then i need the quantity unit cost and the unit price of each invoice we are having so we can copy uh, okay uh, i will tell you the old way we are using the vlookup so we can get the all data using the VLOOKUP or some other options. So VLOOKUP is the perfect option if, if we don't know anything about the power pivots. So we will copy this data. So we have made the copy of the summary sheet which are requirement. Now we will copy the invoice numbers. And come to the summary one and also we have customer details and also the invoice date so this is our main data which is available in a single uh, single sheet so no need to make any other uh, things so now we have a code here but dear friend I need the name so I will change like sorry sorry I will insert so this would be the code or the ID we can say customer ID so I need to look up the value of customer name so if we don't know anything about the power pivot we will use the vlookup option 
equal now you just note down the time how much time i am taking to get the customer name address and everything now we look up we will select this one comma we will go to the customer tab now we will select all the data comma then two then zero and then bracket close press enter now i get now i get the customer name now i can copy the whole data so now i will change three so the address is coming so like that way we can get the name and the address we can copy and we can paste and now we get all the data similarly we can get the country zip state etc and then we can also get the uh, quantity unit price and unit cost also from the invoice details but you can see it is taking lots of time for getting all the details we need to type the vlookup function and then we need to copy similarly we can get the data of quantity so we will get all the details so i think if you are expert in the vlookup and the excel so it will take around seven to eight minutes to get all that reports i think uh, this is uh, not a good speed working in the uh, excel if we will use power pivot you can get within two or three minutes even whenever any data is updated it will update your report automatically that we need to make some changes in the settings so let us start by using power pivot function first we need to change our data into the tables so just put your cursor over the table and press control t and and select my table has a header so your data should have your table should have the uh, headers and then click over here then come here then control t okay customer control t then okay now click here the name once you select the table you will get uh, the design tab and this is the table name you need to define the table name which you can understand so in this case i am in uh, i am defining the name customer in the header just select put the cursor over here come to the design tab and type invoice header and for this sheet we need to select invoice details press enter and now come to the power pivot click select uh, put the cursor over here and add the data model click over here it may take some time just wait for it now you can see a new window which is specially for power pivot now we can see our detail is coming here you cannot do the editing in this data so if you want to do any change you need to come the original sheet and here if you change the data it will update automatically in the power power pivot window here it will come automatically now again come to your main table invoice header and also again click over here it will also add it similarly select the customer table click add data model so now we have all the sheets available in our power pivot window now click over here diagram view now we need to link all the sheets by using the unique codes we can see in the invoice header we will retrieve the data in the vlookup function using the customer id so this time also we will do the same so now click and pick the customer id and select the customer id here or just release the mouse button now we have linked customer 
a sheet with invoice header sheet using the one to many relationship it means a customer have many invoice numbers now you can see invoice number here and we will retrieve the data using the invoice number from the invoice detail sheet so this time also we will pick that one and we will release here so now this time also a uh, invoice number having many invoice details because we can have 10 items in a invoice so it should be multiple times so now we have defined our relationship in the sheets and now click over the pivot tables and select the new worksheet now you can see our main excel sheet is available now click over the new worksheet select the new worksheet and press ok now we can see our power pivot field it is just like uh, pivot tables now select the invoice header okay now select the invoice number in the row column and invoice date should come here now we need the name select the customer sheet the name is coming here now we have address then city country state and zip now come to invoice detail and this time we will use quantity then the unit cost and the unit price now you change the design and now just ungroup the data like I did and now I get all the information very easily now you can do more filtering as per your as per your requirement so whenever you change any data it will automatically update here so this is the way you can use the power pivot it's a very good option I will give you the more example in the coming tutorials thanks for watching our video please do not forget to subscribe our channel if you like it thanks